and welcome to Radio Friend Wednesday, December the 12th. Good to have you with us. We're going to talk about the cold and flu season in just a couple of minutes, but before that, we'll start off with First Night Columbia and Lisa Romeller. Good to have you here, Hi, Paul. Lisa. Good to be back. You don't, you don't have the cold or flu, right? No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're trying to keep it away, and, and uh, uh, Gene Forrest will be here in just a couple of minutes from DNH telling us how to feel better with it. But what have we got going with First Night? (laughs) Well, First Night is just an awesome celebration that we need a lot of volunteers for. It takes about 200 volunteers to put that thing on. 200 volunteers? Because there's so many different things going on all at one time, so many different locations, um, and we have about a week to fill our volunteer roster. Yeah. Well, you know, as we get closer to it, uh, we're going to have some of the performers on. Sutu Forte will be on on New Year's Eve. I remember that. Yeah, she's she's doing the Beethovens again this Mm -hmm. year. And then Jana Kershaw will give us a complete rundown of everything that you have going on. But to make that all happen, you're asking people listening to us right now to volunteer some time. Right. Because the venues where that entertainment is um, require a button for admission. Volunteers sell those buttons. Volunteers check to make sure people entering have buttons. That That's the, the usher position. Mm-hmm. Um, volunteers help direct people through various different buildings because, you know, certain churches, for instance, might right. have several different activities going on at one time. So you and, honestly could not do this first night if you didn't have volunteers. Exactly. We no, there, It would not be possible. Right. So what did the volunteers, besides being good people <laughs> and, and enjoying what they're doing, what did the volunteers get out of this? Well, the volunteer, first of all, they get to visit with all the fun people who are showing up to enjoy first exactly. night. Exactly. That's right. what I look That's forward number one. to. That's the number one payoff. Right. Fun, fun, fun. Um, but then um, they get a free admission button too. Each venue has approximately three shifts during the night. So Mm -hmm. you could volunteer to work the first shift, get your free admission button, and then go enjoy whatever you want for the rest of the evening. And then you you cap it off with a big fireworks display. Are you having the fireworks display? Yes. Okay. Uh, Weather permitting. And that'll be at midnight. Yes. Okay. So if people want to volunteer and you're, you're still looking for about 200... We need, uh, I'd say, over 100 at this point. I didn't really count before coming in, but okay. lots of people are needed to help. Okay, and and as we always say, you have banks of operators that are standing <laughs> by. There are, there are about 20 or 30 of them standing by right now waiting to take these calls that will come flooding in. Yes. Okay, what's so the phone number? flood us, please, <laughs> at 874-7499. And okay. Emailing works also. You can email me at volunteer at gocolumbiamo.com. Okay. And um, we will find a shift that works for you, something you think is fun, that allows you to see the entertainment you want to see while you're not on duty. Right. But call, call. Because I'd like to have, get to have you get a whole bunch of calls right now. Yes, and we appreciate it. I mean, 25 operators are standing by to take these calls, right? What's the number? 874-7499. But but put these poor people to work there. 874-7499. All right, Lisa Romiller, thank you so much for coming by. Now, we have my friend Gene Forrester with us, uh, pharmacist from DNA Scrub. Good to have you here, Gene. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about things that will keep you feeling well so you can go to First Night Columbia, That's right? That's right. That'll make, take care of your symptoms, at least. Yeah. So, so it, doesn't, it doesn't really cure what you have, but it makes you feel better. Right. Because I want to talk about cold and flu. And a lot of times they have similar symptoms, but you have the severity of the infection is it differentiates between influenza and a, and a common cold. So how do you know, how do you diagnose yourself whether you've just got a bad cold mm-hmm. or you have the flu? Well, I was going to say, there's, there's subtle differences between the two, but usually I tell people if they feel like they hit the brick wall, they've got the flu. Now, sometimes you feel that way with a cold, but it's still not as bad as if, if you had the flu. So it's if you got the flu, better. you know you've got the flu. Yeah, I was going to say, your, your body aches, you'll have a fever usually. And you have sometimes have a fever with with a cold, but it, it's much you know stronger and more severe. Are you, if you have the flu... Are you contagious to other people when you're feeling that bad? Oh, sure. Yeah. 
Are you contagious to other people before you feel that bad? I think you are for a short period before that time because you, you're not showing symptoms yet, but you're st you have the germ bacteria. It's kind of like it's starting to percolate in your body. Right. And then how long you, are you uh, uh, contagious to other people once you feel better? I think about, uh, well, I was going to say, from the time you first feel a symptom, usually you're, they say you're contagious for about three days. So, okay. I mean, so, so, so working with other people, a lot of times you're not able to take that time off. So you want to make sure you, you know, stay away from other people. Well, not, as much not as just, if, you, if you can't, you know, then you need to use good hand sanitation and, you know, uh, cover your mouth and, and take care of, you know, uh, nasal secretions. And okay, stuff. so what are some of the over-the-counter stuff that you can do to make yourself well, feel better? I was gonna say we have, I was gonna say usually like uh, decongestant. Now this is the the over-the-counter one that you can buy. Uh, it has phenylephrine in it, and it's uh, the Sudafed is a little bit better product. It's one you have to sign for. Uh, because of the methamphetamine, but you can use. you can buy that over the counter. You can you can yeah. And what will that do? What that does is, is a nasal decongestant, so it opens the sinuses, allow you to breathe. So okay. if you have a stuffy head, you want to use this product. Okay. So then then and uh, and that's a it's it's, it's, it's a generic brand. Right. It's like Sudaf. It can commonly called Sudafed PE. Okay. And, and then you've got. And then you've these? got things, things like chest congestion and head congestion. Uh, Mucinex will help break up some of that. But the Sudafed will allow you to breathe better. But the gunk that's in your chest and your head is what Mucinex or Guaifenesin. Uh, that will, helps bring it out. Right, loosens the phlegm to where you can break it out. Okay. And they make one with dextromethorphan in it, so it's especially helpful like at bedtime to help you sleep better. Okay. It, it, it does both properties. I, I particularly want you to mention okay. this stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, Olbus Oil is one is a product we found about five years ago or maybe eight years ago or ten years ago. Uh, we have a pharmacist from South Africa, Muriel, um, and she uh, has used this there, and so she recommends doing it, and it's the greatest stuff. It's a product that we can safely recommend for people who have hypertension to replace taking And it opens up your nasal passages. So it's you put you just to a little, a little bit mm -hmm. on a handkerchief or and, something, and and they make it like an inhaler, like the old Vicks inhaler. This is mm -hmm. kind of like Vicks. If you remember the Vicks inhaler as a child, this is like. That was on steroids, I call it. Okay. <laughs> because okay. It's, it's a much stronger product. Yeah. But the Olbus oil is a very good product. It's, it's a drug free product because you don't take it internally, you're uh, using it externally to okay. breathe. For more information, you can go to either one of the DNH drugstores and they'll, uh, you'll bring them up to date on That's what will right. help with the cold and flu. Yeah. Gene Forrester, thank you so much for okay. coming by from, you, uh, from DNH. We've been friends for a long, long time. Yeah. It'd be good. Uh, let's see. We're out of time for today. Tomorrow, League of Women Voters and Hazel Kinder, our program director by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, Audios, Pat Akers, KBIA, our floor director, Eric Stazak, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser. Bye-bye.